yeah, I'm going to try to do the best that I possibly can. I'm going to show up for myself. I'm going to be more disciplined. And so let me give you some, some ways to help you be a little bit more disciplined and to start to develop the muscle. The same way that, you know, if you don't go to the gym, but you decide that you want to start going to the gym, you're going to have some weak muscles. That's okay. But as you lift, you're going to be sore for a couple of days the first time that you lift heavy. Uh, but you'll eventually start to get there. You'll eventually start to get better. And you'll eventually start to have this muscle grow. And so I'm going to give you a couple tips just to kind of help you get a little bit better with your discipline. The first thing that's a very simple thing to help you get better with your, your discipline is to challenge yourself to finish everything that you start. You know, the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. So if the way you do small things is also the way you do big things. And so I always recommend try to do the little things the best that you possibly can. Because eventually you're building that muscle of this is just who I am. This is how I show up. Uh, this is so if I get used to finishing the small things, I'll get used to finishing the big things. So for instance, like doing the dishes, right? You end up going and, and eating some food. You end up taking that dish and just cleaning it. Finish the act of eating your food, which means finishing the dish. Clean it by hand, put it inside the dishwasher, whatever you need to do. Sleeping. Finish the act of sleeping make the bed. It's these little things that impact the big things. When you can start to develop the feeling of finishing what you start, because all too often, what I find with people is that people are really good at starting things. Most people have no problem starting things. They'll start it and they'll excite about it. The problem that most people have is finishing things. The follow through is where most people usually fall, up, fall, fall off in some sort of way. So if you can get with the little things and you can get good at, at finishing those things, you get really good at the big things as well. Just finish what you start. Don't allow yourself to stop something. Early. And the, the way that I want to, to frame your mindset and to change your mindset around discipline is that when we hear the word discipline, I think it's kind of a hard thing and it feels kind of like constraining, right? Like for me, I always think very visually. So when I think of like discipline, I think of almost like a, a, a normal connotation that it has kind of in society is discipline is kind of like a straight jacket. Like you can't do anything else. You have to do this. You have to be mean to yourself. You have to kind of white knuckle your way into discipline. No, not really. That's the way that we normally think about it. But I just shared with you that you need discipline to do the things that are good for you. And so in a sense, I want to reframe your mindset around discipline and realize that discipline is a form of self-love. Discipline is a form of self-love because you are doing what you know is good for you in the long run. You're focusing on something in the future. It's like planting a seed. You know that this, the, you're not immediately going to get the tree, but you know that if you plant a seed now, in five years, you'll be able to sit under the, the, the shade of that tree and protect yourself from the sun. Right? So you're focusing on delayed gratification. When you work out, you don't immediately see the results. When you eat healthy, you don't immediately see the results. You don't see immediate results most of the time when you have to do something that requires discipline because you're focusing on delayed gratification versus instant gratification. We live in a society where we get everything immediately nowadays. We immediately get almost everything that we want. We get an answer when we want to figure something out. We get food delivered to our house. We get someone to come pick us up and drive us somewhere if we want to use Uber. And so we really are so used to instant gratification, but for our lives and the things that make our lives better, it's almost always delayed gratification is necessary. You put in the work now and eventually you get the fruits of your labor. Everything works its way out in time. You know, now that I'm slowly each year getting closer and closer to 40, I am now starting to realize that everything works its way out in time. If you take good actions for yourself consistently, time will be your best friend. If you take good actions for yourself and you fast forward 10 years from today, Time is your best friend. You're going to live longer. You're probably going to be happier. You're going to be healthier. You're going to be wealthier. You're going to have a greater life. If you take bad actions for yourself, time is your worst enemy. It will catch up. And, and as I start getting to the age of almost at 40, I look at people, I can see people on Facebook and Instagram that I grew up with, that I went to elementary school, high school, middle school with, and I can see now 
people just by looking at them and go, yeah, that person looks really good. They probably took care of themselves for the past 20 something years since I last saw them. And I can see other people and go, yeah, it doesn't look like they took care of themselves. Time catches up. We like to act like it doesn't. We like to prepare, pre, pre, prepare. We like to pre, pre, God, I can't even say pretend. We like to pretend like it's not going to catch up to us. It's fucking catching up at some point in time. Time is either your best friend or it's your worst enemy. So discipline, when you think about it, is not about being perfect. It's not about the straight jacket. It's a form of like, you know what? I am going to eat healthier to take care of my body because I want to live longer, because I do want to have more energy, because I want to be able to play with my grandchildren, right? So it's it's not about being perfect or about being this like badass productivity machine, you know, like the overly aggressively masculine fucking go out and get it done, bro. Like it's not about being that. It's about going, you know what? I'm going to show up for myself. And it's not about being perfect. It's not about beating myself up when, I, and when I'm not perfect. It's about winning that battle more than losing. So I'm going to, I'm going to have more wins in the win column than in the losses column. 